Hello, I'm Mark Lords, a faculty member here at the Brigham Young University Construction Management Program. We're delighted to be able to prepare this video to highlight some of the things we're doing with our students and as a program to let our alumni know exactly what is going on. It's also designed to introduce you to what we're doing with the hope that you would find an opportunity to contribute to our program and help us accomplish what we're trying to do. Uh, we're a little bit unique in that in preparing the student for construction management they still need to understand the trades. So we have an electrical lab, our concrete lab, we do hands-on things, but our major hands-on is our computer lab. These students are computer literate. Our construction management students have been in a leadership position forever in this program uh, because of their computer skills. It's essentials in today's running a construction business that they have those good skills. As president, one of our main focuses was to increase the communication collaboration between students, professors, and try and increase the awareness of the students. Uh, we've been able to do a lot of different things. We've brought in professionals from uh, the industry, from various aspects of the indus industry. I've also had the opportunity to go on uh, several job walks to be able to go actually go see what is really happening out there. We've also tried to really push the club activity and try and help get the club presidents actively going each week and each month and trying to do something on a monthly basis. The other thing that these clubs have really done for us is the opportunity to network within, um, within the program. I've been able to develop some great relationships with uh, other fellow students that I think will last hopefully a lifetime. It's a pretty stiff competition. We have uh, 40 universities throughout the nation that participate typically every year. They prepare a full-blown real estate proposal and it's on a current project that's being done in the industry and they have to do a complete marketing, financial, construction analysis uh, on the project and then they take that information and they send it away to judges who judge it and then we go down to a presentation at the International Builders Show and they get an opportunity to present their proposal. The competitions themselves, as I mentioned, it's kind of that capstone where you take your learning from electrical, from uh, mechanical, from all your other classes and you combine them all into one competition and really show, okay, yeah, this is what I know. We've been very successful at the competition. Um, our students are very talented. In fact, out of the last 10 years, there's only one time in the last 13 years that we haven't placed in the top three spots. Because of that, our students pass on the information that they learned to the next team for the next year. And by doing that, we push forward, or I guess you could say pay forward, a lot of information, a lot of experience. And those students who actually do compete, I feel that they, it's priceless. We are currently uh, working uh, with students in the Dominican Republic. And in fact, in just a few weeks, we will take six students to Santo Domingo, where they will work with students at Intech University, and there present things they've learned in our program, new innovative solutions to construction problems, new techniques, uh, they'll be teaching students in that university about BIM, about human resources, about problem solving, about scheduling and estimating, and sharing what they have learned with the students in that university. And we've been fairly successful having students still being placed during the bad economic times because they're well suited for industry. They've had a great education here. Many of them have had good work experience and now they're ready to go full time and they're still able to find jobs even in the difficult economic times. Scholarships help out students in the, uh, for many of them they don't have to work as much so they can spend more time gaining the education. They've only got this opportunity once in their lifetime to gain this education and some students have to make the choice, do I work or do I go to class? And the scholarships are able to help the students help make that choice that, yeah, they can still go to class and gain the education they need to take advantage of this opportunity. International students also benefit from the scholarship. Um, most of our international students will come here seeking the education. The scholarships will help them uh, be able to have the housing and all that type of stuff to take care of the base level needs. But then they take what they've learned here and go back to their countries and are able to take this 
uh, world-class education and incorporate, incorporate it back into their local countries and help improve the standard of living there. Well, today we've introduced you in, in a few moments to some of the great creative things our students are doing. As you can see, they are making an impact in this industry. They're award-winning, they're intelligent, they're leading edge, and they're doing some very wonderful and creative things to help this industry. Our goal is to be able to prepare students that can go out into the industry and make an impact. And to make lives of people better because they themselves have learned how to deliver construction projects, manage construction project, deliver housing, build buildings, all to make people's lives better. And as you have learned, we do some of that even in third world countries. Our goal is to benefit and bless the lives of many. And our students are committed to doing that and learning how to do that.